Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will discuss a topic in biochemistry. Biomolecules, Carbohydrates. Part 1. Understanding Monosaccharides. Let me start this video by explaining carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones or the compounds which produce them on hydrolysis. Carbohydrates are the single most abundant class of organic molecules found in nature. The name carbohydrate arises from the basic molecular formula, C.H2O, N, where N is 3 or more, these substances are hydrates of carbon. Now, let me discuss some essential functions of carbohydrates. They are most abundant dietary source of energy, as it provides energy equals to 4 calories per gram, for all organisms. Carbohydrates are the precursors of many organic compounds, such as fats and amino acids. Carbohydrates, as glycoproteins and glycolipids, participate in the structure of cell membrane and cellular functions such as cell growth, adhesion, and fertilization. They are the structural components of many organisms. These include the fiber cellulose of plants, exoskeleton of some insects and cell wall of organisms. Carbohydrates also serve as the storage form of energy, glycogen, to meet the immediate energy demands of the body. Carbohydrates are utilized as raw materials for several industries such as paper, textiles, alcohol, etc. Now, I will explain, nomenclature of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are generally classified into three groups. Monosaccharides, and their derivatives oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides. The monosaccharides are also called simple sugars and have the formula, CH2O, N where N is 3 or more. Monosaccharides cannot be broken down into smaller sugars under mild conditions. Oligosaccharides derive their name from the Greek word oligo, meaning few, and consist of from 2 to 10 simple sugar molecules. Disaccharides are common in nature, and trisaccharides also occur frequently. 4 to 6 sugar unit oligosaccharides are usually bound covalently to other molecules, including glycoproteins. Polysaccharides are polymers of the simple sugars and their derivatives. They may be either linear or branched polymers and may contain hundreds or even thousands of monosaccharide units. Their molecular weights range up to 1 million or more. Now let me explain the basic structure of monosaccharides. Monosaccharides consist typically of 3 to 7 carbon atoms. The image represents simple, 3 carbon aldose sugar, glyceraldehyde, and a 3 carbon ketose sugar, dihydroxyacetone. Here, glyceraldehyde can exist in D and L isomeric form, as it possess one chiral carbon, whereas, Dihydroxyacetone do not possess chiral center so it cannot exist in D and L isomeric form. Described either as aldoses or ketoses, depending on whether the molecule contains an aldehyde or ketone functional group. The simplest aldose sugar is glyceraldehyde, and the simplest ketose sugar is dihydroxyacetone. These two simple sugars are termed trioses because they each contain three carbon atoms. Hexoses are the most abundant sugars in nature. Nevertheless, sugars from all these classes are important in metabolism. Monosaccharides, either aldoses or ketoses, are often given more detailed generic names to describe both the important functional groups and the total number of carbon atoms. One can refer to aldoditrases and ketoditrases, aldopentoses and ketopentoses, aldohexoses and ketohexoses, and so on. Sometimes the ketone containing monosaccharides are named simply by inserting the letters UL into the simple generic terms, such as tetraloses, pentuloses, hexuloses, heptuloses, and so on. The simplest monosaccharides are water soluble, and most taste sweet. Now I will discuss isomeric properties of monosaccharides. Monosaccharides have asymmetric centers. All the monosaccharides except dihydroxyacetone contain one or more asymmetric, 
chiral carbon atoms and thus occur in optically active isomeric forms. The simplest aldose, glyceraldehyde, contains one chiral center, the middle carbon atom, and therefore has two different optical isomers, or enantiomers. By convention, one of these two forms is designated as the D isomer and other the L isomer. To represent three-dimensional sugar structures on paper, we often use Fischer projection formulas. In general, a molecule with N chiral centers can have two N stereoisomers. Glyceraldehyde has two raised to one equals to two. Aldohexoses, with four chiral centers, have two raised to four equals to 16 stereoisomers. Now, let us see the image shows the D and L isomers of glyceraldehyde. In the image D and L isomers of glyceraldehyde is represented using ball and stick model, Fischer projection formulas and perspective formulas. If the sign of optical rotation is to be specified in the name, the Fischer convention of D or L designations may be used along with a plus or minus sign. D-glucose may also be called D, plus glucose because it is dextrorotatory, whereas D-fructose, which is levorotatory, can also be named D, minus fructose. Dihydroxyacetone ketotriose does not possess chiral carbon. Shown by the image on the left. Dihydroxyacetone does not exist in D or L form. Whereas, glyceraldehyde aldotriose possess chiral carbon and does exist in D and L form. Shown by the another image on the left bottom. Thus, ketose sugar always has one chiral carbon less than aldose sugar having same number of carbon atoms. For example, aldohexoses has four chiral carbons and ketohexose has three chiral carbons. Similarly, Aldopentose has three chiral carbons and ketopentose has two chiral carbons. Now, let me show you structures of some commonly found monosaccharides in the family of D-aldoses. The example of three-carbon sugar, aldotrioses, glyceraldehyde. Few examples of four-carbon sugars, aldotetrases are, erythrose and threose. Few examples of five-carbon sugars, aldopentoses are, ribose, arabinose, xylose and lixose. Few examples of 6-carbon sugars, aldohexoses are, allose, altrose, glucose, mannose, gulose, idose, galactose and talose. In the image, all monosaccharides are represented in D-isomeric form. Similarly, let me show you structures of some commonly found monosaccharides in the family of D-ketoses. The example of 3-carbon sugar, ketotrioses, dihydroxyacetone. The example of 4-carbon sugar, ketotetrases is, erythrolose. Two examples of 5-carbon sugars, ketopentoses are, ribulose and xylulose. Few example of 6-carbon sugars, ketohexoses are, psychose, fructose, sorbose, tagonose. In the image, all monosaccharides are represented in D-isomeric form. Now, let me portray some uncommon monosaccharides. Majority of carbohydrates occurring naturally exist in D-form, but L-arabinose is one of the rare monosaccharide that naturally occurs in L-form. Other monosaccharides existing in L-form are L-ramnose, L-fucose. Also, L-ramnose and L-fucose are 6-deoxy sugars which does not have molecular formula, C.H2ON. Now let me explain to you, epimers. Two sugars that differ only in the configuration around one carbon atom are called epimers. D-glucose and D-mannose, which differ only in the stereochemistry at C2, are epimers. Here, the image shows the structure of D-mannose, D-glucose, and D-galactose. All these three sugars is D-isomer as the fifth carbon has orientation of H and OH groups that is similar to chiral carbon of D-glyceraldehyde, where the OH is on the right and H on the left. Now D-mannose is an epimer of D-glucose as the stereochemistry at C2 chiral carbon is differing in terms of the orientation of H and OH groups. Similarly, D-galactose is an epimer of D 
D-glucose as the stereochemistry at C4 chiral carbon is differing in terms of the orientation of H and OH groups. Monosaccharides also possess structural isomerism. Monosaccharides are the excellent examples of structural isomers in living systems. Glyceraldehyde and dihydroxyacetone, both has different structure, but, same chemical formula, C3H6O3. Similarly, glucose and fructose, both has different structure, but, same chemical formula, C6H12O6. Image on the left shows the structure of glyceraldehyde and dihydroxyacetone, which are visibly different but has same chemical formula. In same way, image on the right shows the structure of glucose and fructose, which are visibly different but has same chemical formula. Similarly, all ketoses are structural isomers of aldoses containing same carbon atoms and vice versa. In other way, all ketopentoses are structural isomers of aldopentoses and vice versa. All ketohexoses are structural isomers of aldohexoses and vice versa. So some key facts to remember regarding monosaccharides are. Lactic acid C3H6O3 also possess molecular formula, C.H2ON where N equals to 3, but it is not considered as a carbohydrate. Majority of carbohydrates occurring naturally exist in D form, but L arabinose, L ramnose, L fucose are rare monosaccharide that naturally occurs in L form. L ramnose and L fucose are 6 deoxy sugars which does not have molecular formula, C.H2ON. Ketose sugar has one less chiral carbon than corresponding aldose sugar with same number of carbon atoms. Dihydroxyacetone ketotriose does not possess chiral carbon and hence it is the sugar that does not exist in D or L form. All the D isomeric form of monosaccharide are not dextro-rotatory, for example, D-glucose is dextro-rotatory, whereas, D-fructose is levo-rotatory. References used to prepare this video are shown here. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you for watching my video. This video is prepared by Dr. Dwaypayan Goswami.